Hi, Adam here, uh, and today we're doing the Geneva 22 VT. This is the 2024 Geneva 22 VT. This is a brand new offering that Geneva's doing. They used to be doing only the 22 VA for this size, but the VT is a really amazing opportunity for people get, to get into a motorhome at a huge discount. The big difference, the big, big difference between the two models is that the VA goes for $10,000 more than the VT, and you're only missing three small things. And so uh, $10,000, what would you do with $10,000? Um, so you have the uh, 22 VT right here, and what we have is the Chevy cutaway chassis. That is one of the primary differences between the VA and the VT. Uh, the Chevy is going to be a V8 6.6 liter. It's going to be 401 horsepower and 468 foot-pounds of torque. So you're going to have no problem getting up those hills. Uh, you'll be able to tow something behind you. You got an 8,000 pound hitch rating there. Uh, continuing around to this side over here, you can see that the same thing with the V8. You have uh, a lot of great opportunities on the outside to have a great camp experience. On the top here, you have a huge awning, spans the entire length of the unit and that's going to make it so that you have a nice shady environment and even some light rain it'll keep you dry in that environment too uh, it's got the uh, the more ride um, the more ride upfit with the chassis here and so that's going to help even more so with that smooth ride uh, and then you have a nice big storage compartment with this layout right here and so you can see like imagine that you can put how many bins you can put in here so you can go in here and I can get grab whatever bin I need instead of those small little pathrooms where you've got to reach all the way in there to grab it here. I can do so ergonomically so I'm not throwing up my back when I'm trying to get my, my stuff out of my storage here. And then rotocast plastic down here so this can get wet. It's not going to rot or anything like that. Uh, makes it so that you have a nice uh, long lasting storage environment here. And then partially finished with the lights in there as well. Coming around to the back, you can see that what we have here is the rear backup camera. You do get a rear backup camera uh, with the Geneva 22 VT. And on top of that, you have uh, the hitch down there. So whether you want to tow a vehicle or whether you want to have a cargo rack or whether you want to have um, uh, maybe a bike rack, whatever you need, you can have on, on the 22 VT Geneva. So uh, we'll head on in. Uh, what we have here is the economy 22 VT Geneva. These things are going for 84,995. That's uh, 84,995 plus taxes, titles, and fees. And so, could be the case that with as little as 10,000 down right now, you're at 850 a month, something like that. So, let's head on in. So this is a classic style of layout for this 24 foot model. You can see you have no slide over here, but the way I say it is no slide, no problems. What that means is that there's one less mechanical thing that can go wrong. You ask any experienced camper and you're going to ask them, okay, what goes wrong on campers? Because I want to minimize my opportunity for problems. 10 out of 10, they're all going to say at least one of their top three things is going to be the slide goes wrong. So here, you don't have to worry about that. So once you go to a class C, the big benefit for the class C, as opposed to a class B or a van or something like that, is you get a standalone bed. So it's not you don't have to worry about having a Murphy bed. You don't have to worry about uh, making and unmaking that bed in the Murphy, in the Murphy bed fashion. Uh, the bed is just always there. And that's a queen size bed with that little cutoff, so you still have access to the bathroom. Uh, we can go back to the bathroom, we can look at that right now. And uh, you know, I'll just hop right in, why not? Uh, go in here and I can go right to the shower. And so I'm a six foot two man, and my head is going into this big open skylight so that I still have the full capacity to shower. I love that they do the curtain instead because now I can actually shower this way. So that glass would be so restricting if it was right there. So the curtain is a huge upgrade right there. Uh, you do have the shower miser water saving solution there. And so what that does is if you are dry camping, if you are roadside, if you are at a Cracker Barrel, something like that, uh, you can conserve water because what it does is that you can turn the hot water on and it, you can turn this knob and it will cycle internally so that you're not wasting that one, two, three gallons just pouring out of the faucet while you're waiting for it to heat up. So that's a huge opportunity to save water in dry camp right there. Uh, on top of that for a bathroom, like imagine how small a class B is, those wet baths. You don't want to have to deal with that. So what you have here is everything is separate. You have a separate toilet with space for your legs there too. I'll sit on it so you can see I'm a six foot two man. My legs have a place to go. That's huge. A lot of campers don't do that for you. On top of that, you have 
other opportunities uh, to store things, whether your soap, your toothbrushes, your towels, whatever you bring with you on your trips, and then a medicine cabinet too. Some brands aren't gonna do that for you. You have a vent here in the bathroom as well to take out that humid air. Uh, one of the huge things that I wanna share with you right now is the hot water heater. The Genevas, even this economical uh, 22 VT still has a tankless hot water heater. What does that mean for you? Think unlimited showers. Think unlimited doing dishes. Whatever you need hot water for, they've got you covered. As long as you have a hook up to water, you have that unlimited supply of hot water, which is huge. That's something you usually see on only the highest end of motorhomes, not usually on something at this economy price. So uh, heading into the other parts of the camper, we have a fully 12 volt refrigerator, so that can stay on when you're going down the road. Uh, you have a nice big size for your freezer. You can hold at least four half gallons of ice cream if you wanted to there. And then down here, you got your refrigerator, plenty of space for everything that you need there too. Um, they hook you up, they make it so that you can uh, go on extended trips and not have to go to the grocery store every second of the day. For this layout, you actually do have a wardrobe. So they know that you're going to need to bring some clothes with you. And so maybe you want to hang some. Great opportunity to hang some clothes. Also the ladder to get to the top bunk right there too. Uh, right beneath it, you have your propane furnace. So you do have propane for your furnace, propane for your hot water heat, and then propane also for your uh, oven and stove top. And so keeps you nice and toasty even in those winter months. Um, and then going over the dinette here, you have uh, the dream dinette. And so uh, not only do you have a nice electric sort of plug-in on your dream dinette there, but then also it drops super easy. You just pull the lever and drop it down, and then you convert everything, and that turns into a bed for you. So that you have one bed in the corner, another bed here is your dinette, and then your third bed, of course, is up top. A great opportunity to sleep a whole bunch of people, even in a smaller unit. Put that down, and then bam. You have a huge bed, and then the huge TV up here, too, that's on a nice big swivel, which makes it so that you can watch the TV from anywhere in the unit. A great airflow up here, too. You got an event above there. And then also a window, so if somebody does sleep up there, they do have the opportunity to get plenty of great airflow. Going down into the cab, you can see they have this nice plastic all across the bottom. So that's going to make it so that cleanup is always going to be super easy. Nice infotainment system there, good size. And then you have that Chevy, uh, that Chevy uh, chassis here. And so you, they do give you cruise control, even at this economy price. That is an amazing opportunity there. A um, couple more things is that we do have uh, uh, solar prep on the roof. Um, and so if you want to add a solar panel, more than your prerogative, it's all prepped and ready to go for you. Very simple process from there. Um, I guess I'll show you a couple of things in the kitchen before I, before I stop. Uh, you have a three burner stove along with the gas, uh, the glass splash guard. Uh, so that goes over like that. And then boom, you got your, your uh, splash guard there. And then you have your oven beneath. Uh, so cookies or heating up pizza or whatever you want to use an oven for. And then this uh, looks like more oven, but it's actually storage space. They do a great job with their uh, design there of the cabinet. So lots of cabinetry over here too. And then you got a sink uh, with, your, uh, with your, your drainer. And then they actually do have a stainless steel sink. A lot of brands to cut costs are going to put plastic there, but not the Geneva, not Thor. Um, and then you got this flip up side right there, which makes it so that you can, uh, you can prep your uh, or uh, stack your dishes um, I'm having a hard time putting that back down anyway that's fine and then beneath there is going to be your hookups and everything top of that you got your microwave up top more cabinetry up top as well um, and that pretty much concludes the unit and so this is again 2024 brand new offering which is the Thor Geneva 22 VT it's on the Chevy cutaway chassis total economy price 84995 hard to find a class C nowadays anywhere around that price and so uh, this is an incredible opportunity for somebody especially if this is your first time motorhome buyer you don't want to go with used because you've heard bad stories about used units you want to go brand new but you want to say economy price this could be the unit for you thanks so much for watching feel free to like and subscribe and um catch you next time